the the introduction to open intelligence uh, is the full on recognition of open intelligence as well. It's not like we have the introduction to open intelligence and then we have to sift through a lot of extra things to get the the actual teaching. Right now, stop thinking. What remains is bright, clear, open intelligence, immediate benefit. And that immediate benefit that we find in open intelligence, it serves us throughout all appearances. All appearances can simply be titled data, thoughts, emotions and sensations, even life and death data. Appearing within flawless clear sky, luminous clear sky. And so to have this simple ability to recognize simple but incredibly revolutionary ability to recognize what is always on about us, what is unchanging, what doesn't die about us, to recognize what is forever clear, vast, is astounding. And I, I was just so uh, immediately relieved when I speak about the immediate benefit. I can remember back to when I first heard this and still recognize that immediate benefit. And we, we share about the practice of short moments of open intelligence to repeat that many times. And that's just that recognition of again and again of what is forever clear about us. And you can recognize it right now. What's hearing these words, what's listening, what's sensing. Open intelligence is vast and clear like a luminous blue sky. Your mind is just like this. And at night we see all of the planets and the stars, right? We see, we can liken them to data twinkling in the sky. And then at noontime, all of that is you could say disappeared or outshone, whatever you like to choose. You just, they're there, twinkling, still there. But what is more bright, clear and obvious is open intelligence, shining bright. So bright we don't even have to bother to look at them. You know you're never going to find a star in the sky at <laughs> midday. So you just relax, bask in the sun. And the, to, to recognize all of our data, just what data is, is very powerful and we can recognize it just right now. Whatever data stream you have, watch how it vanishes naturally. Resolves without a trace, just spontaneously releasing like the flight path of the bird in the sky, effortlessly, like the ripple in water. And to be able to recognize that there is this unchanging nature about us is, I find, very special, in, especially in topics that come up like death. And we, we all face this topic. We, we've all faced it before and we can continually face it throughout our lives, whether it's considering our own death or having that, uh, the death of a loved one, a friend someone close to us, or even someone not so close to us can bring up the topic of death and what that actually is. And to recognize, to have the opportunity to recognize open intelligence, something that unites us all, regardless of any data description, is so incredibly powerful and brings us immediately close to everyone. And so I found that very special to, to carry throughout all of my experiences of loved ones passing, of considering my own death, knowing that there's something about me that never dies. There's something about me that connects me with everyone, whether they're alive or dead. And to prioritize that in my life and to, to really make that primary 
the importance of that really becomes very, very clear when we are faced with these topics. <coughs> what do we really want to know about ourselves? Do we want to have all of these descriptions as our focus for our life? Or do, what, do we want to get to the basis of what's actually there, the reality of what's actually going on here? the perfect love that is present, regardless of whatever description that arises. And for me, that connects me with everyone, everyone that I've ever had a relationship in my life. We see the actual nature of relationships as unchanging, not someone's not here next to me right now and doesn't mean that I don't have a relationship with them. I relax whenever I think of them. Wow, that relationship is ongoing people that I haven't seen for 10 years, people that I'll never see again, I still have an incredible relationship with them, forever growing, a forever closeness as well. Seeing how close we actually really, really are, incredibly close. Relax and rely on open intelligence, that's the, the clarity that we all share. And so I find in, in my commitment to open intelligence is my commitment to all of those people that I dearly care about and the world that I dearly care, dearly care about. My ability to rely on open intelligence is what I, what I uh, class as my greatest strength, my openness to open intelligence. I would say, yes, <laughs> I'm so happy for that. And that's what I want to give everything to. And from that, everything has naturally unfolded and continues to unfold. And, uh, and I'm grateful for being supported in that, to have the Four Mainstays to support me, to continually make it so easily and effortless that I can make that choice. That choice in every moment, really incredibly simple, to rely on open intelligence or to continue to manage data. We heard on the talk this morning, all of those management techniques that we have to give up that completely and to be able to do, do that and to be able to recognize open intelligence. We have that choice very simply in each and every moment. It doesn't get more elaborate than that. So you can go about your day today and see how very simple our lives are. Simple, but radically powerful when we make this commitment. So it's just to rely on open intelligence, to relax, or to continue the management strategies, changing this, trying to change the experience, which doesn't actually work, right? <laughs> so I, I just continued to be, uh, yeah, it, it just became more and more obvious how, how funny and simple that choice really is, how, how uh, available it is. And so all of my efforts, you can just really laugh in the end <laughs> throughout your day. Okay, wow. I've given myself such a hard time when really I can choose in every moment to relax. Relax simply, rely on a short moment of open intelligence, relax body and mind completely. So we heard lots of um, incredible shares about strengths, gifts and talents and what in Balanced View we rely on open intelligence, not just purely for the sake of great, we, we rely on open intelligence, <laughs> <laughs> we rely on open intelligence for the benefit of all. So what we find is that when we rely on these short moments that what is unlocked is uh, the ability to, to use all of your unique strengths, gifts and talents, to recognize them and to use them to be of benefit and service in the world to, to everyone. And so 
just simply coming back and showing up, it's just naturally uh, made obvious just what that is. We're all so unique, all so unique. We each have our unique qualities and activities. We recognize what is very, very clear and um, uh, common to us all, open intelligence, and we find our natural uh, gifts, strengths and talents that shine forth from just being completely relaxed. When all of those manage- that management stops of, I'm trying to get more positive, I'm going to get rid of this negative, or when all of that stops, we have a lot of time to just enjoy. <laughs> to enjoy and see what unfolds naturally and to see how we want to use all of this incredible energy that we have. And sometimes we may see the incredible energy come up as envy, jealousy, pride, arrogance, desire. We may see it as that description and it may be more more primary for some of the time, but then we recognize that actually when these envy, jealousy, pride, arrogance, desire pops up, we recognize it more like pure benefit, 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 benefit. The ability, the, the energy to really contribute to the world. We see that envy, jealousy, pride, arrogance, desire. I'm missing many more. But we see them just arising and resolving naturally within that luminous clear mind that we've recognized at the very start today. When we stopped thinking for a moment, we saw what remains. We recognized them as inseparable, not being able to extract them, just uh, unable to affect your luminous clear mind. You could throw many things at the sky today, right, and it wouldn't flinch. You could throw all of your thoughts, emotions, sensations, all of the rocks and whatever you can find around here at the sky, untouched, unchanging. We can see that in in our own experience, thoughts, emotions and sensations. Open intelligence, completely unaffected, like the crystal ball, completely unaffected. (laughs) 